guys so I am back I just finished washing my hands and we are going to make this hello fresh recipe this is the creamy lemon spinach ricotta ravioli so I'm curious to how this is going to taste I've never had a uh, spinach ravioli so they have all of the instructions on the back here and everything that you need. So I think I'm going to try this recipe out. So far, so good with the HelloFresh recipes I've tried thus far. Um, you can go back and look at some of my videos. So far, I've tried the, um, what is it, roasted garlic and zucchini flatbread and then I tried the cantina shrimp fajitas I also did the poblano and black bean soup I did not uh, record that particular recipe I had my grandmother over and I just wanted to make her lunch so I shared that with her she doesn't like to be on camera so I didn't uh, <laughs> put the camera in her face but today I'm gonna do this video for you all and in this recipe, there is one clove of garlic, a red bell pepper, a Roma tomato, one lemon, nine ounces of the spinach and ricotta ravioli, and that does contain eggs, milk, and wheat, and um, vegetable stock, two tablespoons of Philadelphia cream cheese, two tablespoons of sour cream, and one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese so um it is suggesting if you would like meat that you can add like a chicken sausage um i'm not going to add meat to this particular dish i'm perfectly fine with it not having any meat in it so for the first step is telling us to adjust the rack and preheat the oven to 400 which i did that already so uh, right now i need to bring a pot of water, salted water to boil which i'll show you in a second wash and dry the produce and then we have to half the bell pepper remove the stem cut the tomatoes into six wedges and peel and thinly slice the garlic uh then zest and quarter the lemon <laughs> so that's quite a lot so i'm going to head go ahead and get that done and I'm going to adjust my camera so that you can see what I'm doing and then we'll move on to step two okay so before I get okay so um, before I get started working on uh, prepping the produce I want to show you what's in the bag so this is the bag that it comes in and here is the uh, pasta spinach and ricotta ravioli but in the bag are the rest of the ingredients that we need so here is the vegetable stock the parmesan oh, so this is actually a yellow pepper and not a red one as it shows on the recipe. It doesn't make a difference. They taste the same. Um, here's the sour cream and Philadelphia cream cheese. Here is the lemon. One Roma tomato. one clove of garlic okay so now i'm going to go ahead and wash this produce and then i'll go ahead and prep it okay so i'm going to go ahead and finish drying off the produce that i just washed off And 
we're going to go ahead and prep. So, you guys are probably wondering why I use a plate. My uh, cutting boards are really, really big, and I really hate uh, <laughs> washing them. So I just use like these little plates, but I have so many cut boards, um, cutting boards, cut boards. I have so many cutting boards that I just uh, don't utilize. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this yellow bell pepper and we're going to cut it so that we can take the seeds out yeah so that's pretty much intact not too many seeds left in there i'm going to put this to the side here and we're going to go ahead and cut the bell pepper into you know half and a half and then i'm going to go ahead and cut out this um membrane is what I call it uh, it has a bitter taste to it and I don't prefer it so I go ahead and cut that out so I'm just going to toss that to the side so now we have that cut so we're going to um Put a little oil in our baking sheet I line my baking sheets with aluminum foil so that I don't uh, ruin them this is a fairly new baking sheet I'm just gonna drizzle some canola oil here you can use olive oil if you want to um, I'm gonna place the bell peppers skin side up or flesh side down however you want to do it I'm gonna put that off to the side and then I'm gonna come over here and we're going to um, go ahead and cut this tomato I'm gonna to cut the top off and discard that and then we're going to have to cut it into six wedges as it says on the instructions so half it and then half it again lengthwise and then we're going to half it once more and the bigger piece half that and that makes six wedges so we're going to go ahead and put this on the bacon sheet as well and then I'm gonna place those on. And we're going to salt and pepper those as instructed. And then a little bit of black pepper and I'm gonna put those in the oven that's gonna cook for 20 to 25 minutes we're gonna wipe out our plate here and then we're gonna make sure that we go ahead and cut up this lemon and then the garlic clove that we have here so i'm going to cut off the butt of the lemon on both sides discard that okay so the instructions tell us to zest so I have my lemon zester here so we're gonna go ahead and 
just uh, lightly brush the lemon against the zester and you can see the zest falling here you don't want to press it down too hard because you don't want the bitter texture underneath you just want the yummy yellow stuff <laughs> the yellow peel um, and and that would be the technique of zesting you only want the nutrients that's in the peel not the bitter white stuff underneath there so I'm gonna zest this whole lemon and this is a pretty easy uh, thing to do I <laughs> You know, you might hear zest a lemon and get intimidated, but don't. It's really simple. Even a beginner cook could do this. So, yeah, we zested everything on this lemon. So, I'm just going to scrape the excess off with a knife here. And then we're going to push that to the side. Okay. Then, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and cut this lemon. I'm just going to put it in two halves because it really hasn't told us what we need to do with it yet because we haven't got to that part of the instructions. Now I'm going to go ahead and smash this piece of garlic and basically you just lay the knife flat down over the clove of garlic and you take your ham. Make sure that your fingers are up, palms down, and just lightly tap it. And that kind of breaks open the garlic shell. I'm gonna cut the tip off right here and then it pops right out. If you do it this way, it's much easier to peel. Voila, there's no peel there. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up. Um, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that out of there because we don't want whatever that is. Sometimes, you know, vegetables get bruised or whatever, so cut that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and thinly slice this. Uh-oh. So... This is where things can get a little difficult because my nails are pretty long, but I manage. So I might need to cut them just a little bit. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and, oh, so it does say in the instructions to go ahead and quarter the lemon. So let me do that really quickly. All right, so that's quartered. The garlic is thinly sliced, so we have the lemons here, the zest here, and then the garlic slices there. I'm gonna wipe my hands because of that garlicky smell they can get from cutting garlic. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, I'm going to show you. Okay, so I'm getting ready to add salt to my water to add my pasta. And as soon as that water comes to a boil, we'll go ahead and add the pasta to the pot. So we're going to give that a few more minutes. It's almost there. As a matter of fact, it's getting started now. So that's great. I got salt all over the stove. Okay, so the pot of water, the, it's, the, I already added the salt. Sorry, I got a little tongue tied. It's already come to a roaring boil. So I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, pasta. Uh, be careful because you don't want the, oops, lost one, ravioli to, uh, 
splash the hot water on you. So we've added that to the pot. So I got a spoon, so we're gonna stir this. So we're supposed to uh, cook this until it's al dente for 44 to 5 minutes. So, I'm going to let that cook. Okay, so while we have the pasta going, we're going to go ahead and add a little oil to this pan because we have to now saute the um, garlic that we sliced up. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the pot and let the pan heat up with the oil and we'll saute that down. Um, this ravioli has a few more minutes. Okay, so I'm going to check on the peppers in the oven now. The um, yellow pepper that we put in the oven along with the tomatoes. Okay, so it says to let the pasta cook 45, 4 to 5 minutes until it's like floating to the top. Which it really already was, but okay. Well, it's been about 4 to 5 minutes, so what I'm going to do is turn this off. And the garlic over here is starting to sizzle under the heat of the pan, so it's starting to uh, get hot. So we're going to saute that for a little bit, and then we're going to add the pasta and the other ingredients to this pan. So I've taken the pasta out of the uh, water. The instructions say to go ahead and reserve one-fourth of this pasta water so I'm going to do that and I'm going to take the green peppers out of the oven. Okay so I said green peppers but I meant to say the yellow pepper. Um, that's the pepper and the tomato there and I'm going to pour out most of this pasta water and reserve one-fourth like the instructions say. So here I've added the Philadelphia cream cheese and the sour cream and it says to go ahead and add half of the Parmesan that they gave us. I think that's about half. I hope. So we're going to whisk this together and I should have got a plastic um, or silicone with I don't want to scrape up my pot so I'll just do it lightly so I'm gonna switch hands here I'm gonna go ahead and add the fourth cup of pasta water. Sorry, I had to put you guys down for a second because I needed to whisk with both hands. But that's how this mixture is looking thus far. So we're gonna let that simmer a bit while I go ahead and slice the green, sorry, yellow peppers that we cooked in the oven earlier. We have added in the yellow pepper, the tomato, and the vegetable stock. And I'm just going to stir this up a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the um, ravioli to this. Okay, the sauce is starting to thicken a bit. I'm going to go ahead and add a squeeze of lemon. Uh, like the instructions say, I'm going to stir that up. And now I'm going to add the pasta to 
into the mixture. I would normally use tongs, but I'm trying to hold this camera so that you can see what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm touching it with my hands. My hands are clean. And I'm the only one that's eating this, so there you go. So we're going to toss um, this sauce over the ravioli. Okay, so now this is simmered for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and get ready to plate. Okay, so this is, um, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. But according to the uh, directions, you're supposed to garnish with the remaining Parmesan. And then, of course, uh, the lemon zest that we used earlier. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more sauce to mine. Well, that wasn't very much, but yeah. Okay, you guys, so... That is, I I don't plate well, guys, so just, you know. But this is the dish that um, I made with the HelloFresh recipe. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm going to taste it. Okay, you guys, so I finally finished the meal. So this is the ravioli, the spinach uh, ricotta ravioli. So I'm going to go ahead and taste this for the first time. It's really hot. This is really good, so I'm glad I made it because I'm starving. Yeah. Okay. So, another one for the record books. This doesn't have any meat in it whatsoever, so if you are a vegetarian or you just want to try something, well, I wouldn't say completely. It does have eggs. Well, that's vegan. I never know what's what these days, so I'm not even going to pretend to try to know. Um, it doesn't have meat, pretty much. So, um, comment down below if you tried this recipe and what you thought about it. If you are subscribed to HelloFresh. Also, I do have a code for you guys to use if you want to use it. Check out the Hello Fresh, uh What's in the Box video, and there should be like three codes if you want to try out HelloFresh and you get some free meals or something like that. But you only have 30 days to use it, so go over there and check that out. But thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.
Thank you.